Today I'm going to be going over 10 no interview remote jobs that are almost always hiring and I'm also going to be going over the companies that are hiring for these roles. Now not only are these going to be great opportunities, we always strive to do the absolute best on this channel to provide the best opportunities for you, but on top of that these are going to be jobs and companies that you've probably never heard of before. So if you appreciate me doing this type of content, let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump into it with number one on the list which is going to be a Toliker for the company Tolica. Now you're probably thinking right now, Shane, what the heck is a Toliker? Seriously though, what is it? And that's a great question because a Toliker at the company Tolica handles a variety of digital micro tasks like data verification, content moderation, and survey completion. And Tolica is a company that stands out for its innovative approach to crowdsourcing, offering a diverse array of tasks to people around the world, and contributing to the advancement of AI and machine learning. And basically what they do is they provide data for machine learning and business solutions. Now you might be thinking, Shane, whoop-de-doo, providing data, that doesn't sound valuable at all. Well, actually, data is more valuable than oil or gold. And when you combine data with AI and machine learning, that is a recipe for success. And that's why this company is on the up and up. Now, how much you can make as a Toliker at Tolica completely depends on where you're from. If you're from a first world English speaking country, they're going to be giving you tasks where you can make a lot more money. However, like this Reddit poster points out, if you're from a country like Algeria, you'll make around five to six dollars an hour, which is actually really good for Algeria. Also, just to mention this, like like all micro task platforms such as Amazon Mechanical Turk or Clickworker, you want to be careful about which tasks you choose. Some tasks don't pay very well. They only pay like 10 or 15 cents. You probably don't want to do those. Also, this is not a platform where you're going to be able to make a full time income. If you're from a first world English speaking country, you can probably make a few hundred extra dollars per month doing tasks here and there. And if you get on all of the different micro task platforms, like I said before, Amazon Mechanical Turk or Clickworker or this one, and a bunch of others, you could potentially make a full-time income from it, but it wouldn't necessarily be steady, stable work. So this is definitely best for people who just wanna make a couple hundred extra dollars per month because they have some free time. So for that reason, this one can be good for the right type of person out there, depending on what you're looking for, but I'm gonna give it an overall score of six out of 10. Next is going to be a search quality rater for We Localize. Now, have you ever wondered who keeps the internet's chaos somewhat organized? Spoiler alert, it's not just the algorithms. Wow. That's right, in a vast ocean of online information, there's a lighthouse making sure that you don't crash into digital debris. And that's the search quality rater. They're basically the people who evaluate search engine results in places like Google or YouTube. And they test for things like relevance, accuracy, and user experience. And then they provide vital feedback to refine algorithms that shape our online world. And We Localize hires lots and lots of people for this position. Now, as a search quality rater at We Localize, you'd probably make between forty-six dollars and $83,000 a year. But of course, that's going to vary based on where you're from. Now, this is, of course, an entry level position. You don't need a college degree or previous experience to land this job. However, some skills that you need to have are going to be being detail oriented, analytical. You need to have strong critical thinking skills. You need to be adept at navigating search engines. You need to be good at understanding user intent. And you need to be good at providing concise, structured feedback. So, yeah, this is another good one. This is definitely more of a full time role. Of course, it's going to be harder to land these types of jobs than something as easy as as becoming a micro task worker. But with that being said, I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a social media evaluator and one company you could work for is TELUS International. So imagine getting paid to scroll through social media all day long. And no, this isn't just a Gen Z fantasy. In a world where likes can make or break a brand, there's a hero lurking in the digital shadows and they're gonna be dissecting every post and tweet. Meet the social media evaluator. Hello. In this position, you're going to be scrutinizing an organization's social media presence across different platforms. You're going to be analyzing their important statistics, their messaging strategy, and their engagement. And you're going to be working for companies that value insightful data-driven strategies to refine their online presence. So this is a role that merges analytical skills with a deep understanding of social media. And it's a perfect role for the remote work era, and it's always a skill that's in demand. And social media evaluators make about forty to $62,000 a year. So this is one where you actually have a competitive edge if you're someone who's kind of addicted to social media. So if you're someone who spends a lot of time on social media watching content, or you spend a lot of time on Facebook just catching up with people, this might actually be a perfect role for you because you're going to have a natural understanding of how social media works. And this is why they tend to hire people who are on the younger side. And so of course, you don't need a college degree or previous experience to get into this role. So overall, this one's pretty good. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Speaking of social media, 
media, online marketing is one of the most effective ways for companies to make money. And this type of online marketing falls under the umbrella of what's known as digital marketing. And digital marketing has some of the biggest opportunities out there. Because if you think about it, just about everybody buys just about everything online these days. And I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have been able to get jobs in digital marketing. For instance, Brian was a 59 year old who was able to land a digital marketing job. And they were all able to do it under the training of my friend Seth. And Seth has basically helped thousands of people become digital marketers. He's like the world renowned expert on helping people get into the career. And he does have a free masterclass, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below that explains everything you would ever want to know about digital marketing, like all the different types of careers, like SEO or pay-per-click, and whether it's a good fit for you. So if you're interested in that, definitely check that out by clicking the link down in the description or the pinned comment below. Now, the next one is going to be a pretty common job, but it's going to be at a company that offers a lot of opportunities and it's relatively easy to get into. And that's going to be a next rep agent at the company next rep. And in this position, you're basically going to be handling all types of different customer interactions. And you're going to be managing everything from inquiries to complaints. It says to call this number if you're not completely satisfied with this candy bar. Across phone, email, social media, and chat. And this is a company that offers flexible, in many cases, part time, if that's what you want, work from home opportunities. Now, as a next rep agent, you're going to make anywhere from 29 to $40,000 a year. But keep in mind, a lot of people are doing this part time. And in many cases, the hours are flexible. So basically, you just work whenever you want. And on top of that, you don't need a college degree, previous experience, and you don't even need to interview with them. So yeah, this one is pretty good. It's great if you're just trying to get some work experience and you're trying to get your foot in the door to get your first remote job. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Another customer service job that's going to be relatively easy to get is going to be at the company Arise. So this is going to be along the same lines as the last one, relatively easy to get into. You don't need a college degree or previous experience, and you're going to make between $29 and $38,000 a year. Now, there's also a lot of opportunity for part-time and flexible work, just like the last one. And I get it. Customer service is not the sexiest job ever. It's probably not something you want to do for many years, but getting your first job, getting your foot in the door to get some experience and also being able to work remote is definitely going to be worth it for a lot of people out there. So for that reason, I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score as well. Next is going to be a translator for the company Pros. In a world full of words waiting to be understood, there's a linguistic hero translating gibberish into gold, the almighty translator. Uye arye umbede. <laughs> and translators specialize in converting documents or audio from one language to another, all while maintaining context, technical accuracy, and catering to different industries. And Pros is renowned for its vast network of technical translators. And they basically allow you to work as a freelancer on the website. And freelance translators on Pros make about forty-two dollars to $70,000 a year. Now, this is going to vary greatly depending on where you live, what languages you translate, your level of skill, and the industries that you work in. Are you a translator? Ah, uh, tú eres el traductor. No, tú eres el traductor. No, you are the translator. But yeah, this one is relatively easy to get into, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. You do have to do some work to find your clients because you basically have to contact people, but they give you a list of people that you can contact that are actively looking for freelancers. So it's not something you could sign up to tomorrow and start making a full-time income right away, most likely. And it's also something where you do have to have some level of skill when it comes to translating. So you obviously have to be extremely fluent in two different languages at least. So for those reasons, I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you think of somebody else who might also enjoy the video or you just want to get their comment or their opinion on it, go ahead and share it with them, right? Maybe there's a friend or a family member or just someone you know who needs a job that might get some value from this. So go ahead and share it with them. Next is going to be a virtual assistant at the company Fancy Hands. In this position, you're going to be tackling a multitude of different tasks from managing schedules and organizing files to making travel arrangements and handling data entry, all to streamline clients' workloads remotely. Now, why do companies do this remotely? Because they can expect to save as much as 78% in operating costs from getting a VA instead of a traditional in-house employee. Now, basically the way the hiring process works is you take a really short little questionnaire, which will basically just test your basic skills like how to use Google. And then of course, if you pass the assessment, they will hire you immediately afterwards and you can start right away. And at this company, you can expect to make about 32 to $48,000 a year. So not super high paying, but it is entry level, doesn't require a college degree, 
It's incredibly easy to start, and this can be a good place to get some experience and then get into a better job. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is gonna be a grader at marcolearning.com. And basically what you're gonna be doing here is meticulously evaluating student work for various online courses. You're gonna be providing detailed feedback and grades based on established criteria, all while assuring course quality and student development. And this company basically specializes in providing support for students and educators. Now in this position, you'd make somewhere between 34 and $56,000 a year. They also offer a lot of side job and part-time work opportunities. So you don't necessarily have to work for them full time and it's extremely easy to get into. So it doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Although if you have that, it certainly wouldn't hurt. And yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment down below what your favorite job and your favorite company on this list was. And in future videos, I'll talk more about it. Next is going to be a data collector or translator for the company OneForma. So this is basically a particular type of data collection where you also have to translate it. So this is going to be a situation where you do have to be fluent in two different languages, and you also have to understand the data collection side of things as well. But because of that, if you are fluent in two different languages, you can make a lot more than just one or the other. And data translators make 48 to $81,000 a year. Now the company OneForma themselves doesn't say exactly how much they paid, but it would probably be somewhere in that range. And there are people online that say they were able to make $1,000 in as little as four days. So it definitely does pay to be bilingual in the age of remote work. So this is one where it's relatively easy to get started, doesn't need a college degree or previous experience. The only thing that you absolutely have to have is you do need to be bilingual. Obviously, certain languages are going to pay more than others. There's also gonna be differences in pay depending on where you live. So definitely look that up on the website. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you haven't done it already, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out because I've got some great videos coming down the line. Next is going to be a greater at literally. Yes, I said it, literally. Literally? No, not literally, literally. Yeah, I know, it's kind of a weird company name, but this is a pretty good position. And basically what you're gonna be doing is primarily evaluating student essays. You're gonna be using a rubric and you're gonna be focusing on things like composition, grammar, and providing tailored feedback to foster improvement. Now, in many cases, you'll also be grading verbal assessments as well. So that means a student will be tasked at reading something, they'll be recorded on it, and you will basically assess their verbal fluency. Now, online graders in general make about 38 to $62,000 a year, and the company doesn't say exactly how much they pay, but it's estimated you get paid $30 per audio hour, and that comes out to about $17.50 to $20 per hour. And this one is really easy to get into. You don't need a bunch of experience. So yeah, not bad for something you can get into so easily. I will give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. If you enjoy this video, you can check out my other video, seven remote jobs that are almost always hiring by clicking right here.